What's going on guys? My name is Fonte. We're going to be going over what it's like playing this game after a week. Okay, so I'm one of those guys who kind of like heavily hardcore grinding game and whatnot, which is kind of good and bad in this case. Konosuba, Fantastic Ace is one of those games where it doesn't really have that much content coming out the gate. I'm not really sure they were expecting as big of a player base as they received, but it is definitely one of those gotchas that it's more like you just play on the side. It's not going to be your main game for right now. We do not know if they have plans to really expand this game and make it something where we could actually enjoy playing all day besides the grind. But as of right now, the only things you would be doing after you complete all the story are going to be your daily runs and just focusing on the event quest and arena. The main thing you would always be focusing on is always going to be the event quest simply because of the fact from doing the event quest, you really do get a lot of materials as well as the sacred coins that you need to purchase specific weapons or some of the strongest weapons like Chun Chun Maru and Chris's dagger and you know all that good stuff and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I'll take you over here come to an exchange stop exchange stop what <laughs> exchange shop go to the sacred goddess coin shop and you see Chun Chun Maru cost 20 uh what is that turquoise I guess blue <laughs> and then 100 purple coins then you can also get four star tickets you can also get uh these are the four star what, what i guess you can call them awaken or lemon break no it would be awaken right yeah i guess you could use awaken for the term you can use the uh well actually no it's skill ups when i think about it yeah i i remember chat like <laughs> anyway but yeah you can buy these for the skill ups as well you got some tokens and then you also have these that are going to be used to upgrade the ur weapons now, like I was saying for dailies, really what you're going to be doing is only focusing on really event and PvP and the dailies as well. But other than that, what you would be farming for, if you guys are really looking for something to do, you would be constantly farming for the materials to make sure like as soon as you purchase one of the UR blueprints, you could just immediately craft it. So if you guys are kind of worried about like, oh, what's the end game like? You're really just going to be farming. Don't Don't even farm for this weapon here. Don't even farm for this weapon. Just literally farm for Chun Chun Maru. Just do it. Just go balls deep. Just farm it. Boom. Boom. There you go. Put that on your Kazuma. Now he's broken. Now he's broken. But overall, like I was saying, this game is not going to be the one that you focus on the hardest. It's going to be something that you really play on the side. Not that much content out the gate. But overall, I really do feel like the game was well done for how little content it really has now a question you might ask is Fuente, what about the diamonds we want to know about the diamonds okay well honestly the diamond gain in this game is really not that good you only get 50 a day if you do all your dailies and as you all may know if you've been playing the game, 50 a day is really nothing. You can't do anything with 50. You need 100 to purchase uh, stamina, and then you need 300 to pull. So having 50 gems a day is really not doing the game any justice right now. If anything, that would be like one of the reasons why people shy away from it, because it's like if we don't really get enough gems to keep progressing or to really pull, then it's more one of those games where it's like we're gonna be spending more money than not and yes this is one of those games where you're gonna be spending more money than not if you want to get a lot of things that you want it is very free to play friendly in terms of playing the game now it is not really free to play friendly in terms of pulling when you start the game it will feel like a lot of gems that you get for pulling but it's really not compared to like the overall game itself you get gems for completing everything sure you get 3000 for when you do the uh quest for when you first start sure but overall looking at it the gem gain besides all of the quest like daily game like take epic 7 for example where you can run and you could get sky stones in the middle of a field opening up a chest like there's so many ways to get gems this game is not like that once you exhaust your resources to get gems only way you're getting gems is anytime like a new character gets added and they have the backstory and you get those 30 gems or if you're doing the 50 for the dailies every day so 
take that as you will for me personally i'm going to be keep playing the game for about a month or so i'm going to see where they go with it and then real real realistically for me i'm going to keep playing the game regardless if if it really gets good or not this is really just one of those games that i play on the side at oh i dropped my phone <laughs> but this is really one of those games that I play on the side because I really enjoy Konosuba and I really like interacting with the characters. So for me personally, I will be playing it and I recommend you guys do the same thing as well. Do not hardcore focus this game as if it is the next Summoner's War or you will burn yourself out within two weeks or a week. I highly recommend just playing this on the side. Only go on it probably like an hour a day at most because realistically, that's all you need if you've been farming the game literally that's all you need to do everything in the game just an hour not even an hour if you have your team maxed out and everything and you just breeze through all the dailies and the events and then you can just boom go to whatever you're doing just keep coming back to collect materials or you can just play the game all day every day and then you'd be like damn kind of bored of this game uninstall unfortunate <laughs> but yes this was a relatively quick video of how the game looks or how the game feels or what you're going to be doing in a week of playing if you guys are you know really pushing like how i did but yes overall this game is a game that you should really be playing on the side and not focusing on too much i know i keep saying it and saying it but i kind of want to stress that because some people are going to still be like no we could just focus this game if we want yeah if you want to burn yourself out go ahead sure i've burned myself out on so many games playing like that and now i'm learning to you know calm it down a little bit and i hope you guys do the same go play grand cross okay I'm not saying don't play this game, but I'm saying <laughs> play a different game while playing this as well so you don't really burn yourself out too much. Hell, go play League or something. Go play Overwatch. I know you guys got other games to play. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up this video here. This is very well done game, honestly. Especially for having 2D graphics. A lot of 2D graphics games don't really look that good, but this, this is really well done. And on that note, like I said, I'm going to wrap up this video. My name is Fonte. If you guys don't like me, just like the video. If you guys like me, thumbs up. You want to show me hate in the comments? Go ahead. I'll hit you back. You want to show me love? I'll show that love right back. Peace.